I'm gonna show you the web post in action. And uh, what I have here in front of me is the our LS nav start, where I have configured few buttons, and among them, I'm going to start the web post now first in full screen. I'm using Chrome browser today with this web post, but we have tested it as well with Safari and Firefox. In the beginning, before we start to sell, I want to show you our media panel example. Here we have a media panel that is showing different media options that our post can do. And of course, each part can be full screen if we decide to do so. Here in the middle, I'm showing you a web page. This is our home page of LS Retail Company. Here in the left part, I'm opening a webcam. And now I'm showing you webcam from center of Reykjavik. Not so dark yet here in Iceland. On the right part, in top, I'm going to show you an image playlist. These are images that you can set up in your back office system, and it's for some information your staff needs to read or get to know about. This information can be on dual display later, that can be a different image playlist. And also, in this part, we can play a video, and this video is now located on our home page. And here we have a picture which is also can control in your back of the system. Next thing I want to do is just to log on to the post and show you first the Metro look we call. This is our template or, or base we call Metro. And here we can start to sell items. You can sell items, of course, by scanning in items as usually, or by using buttons, or by looking up items. We can go to item lookup and we can find items there. I'm looking for the tie, and here I have the tie, and I'm going to sell it. We can, of course, as well, look and find items by searching for them directly in the input field, and I'm going to select here the bag Linda, and put into the sale. You saw with the item that we are using the pop-up menus, and also we have pop-up menus here for the totals, as you can see, definition of the total amount. This sale I'm going to close by paying with cash, and then I have a change back. Next post I want to show you is what we call the supermarket post, which could be ideal to use in grocery. But as you know, all the setup for posts can be do done with our tools. In this post, I have panels that I can open this to allow me to have many items in one one panel. And now I have 20 buttons on this panel that can be easily changed to, for example, 60 buttons or whatever you like to have. You can show one, sell one item or we can have sell three items and etc. Here you have the sale. And I'm going to finish this sale by different currency, this different tender type this time, paying with currency. And I'm going to pay the US dollars, and the system automatically changes the amount with, depending on the currency rate, and finishing the sale. Next setup I want to show you is what we call the fashion store, or whatever template which fits your needs. And here we have image, uh, items on menus, and you can see we can have images on buttons, and we can have different many buttons. We can use dynamic menus. These are dynamic menus that can be, you can scroll differently and have different dynamic menus where you have different many pages down here. What I want to do is I want to show you, I'm going to sell the bag Linda. And I want to use recommend for this sale. And here you see that bag Linda is in the basket, in the journal. That is our basket. And since we're selling bag, bag Linda, that our recommendation machine recommends this item depending on this item in the basket. We could also put in a member into the sale. 
and I'm doing that manually now the card of course normally you would swipe a card or, or read a, a QR code from a loyalty app or something like that and we can also use recommend based on the user in the basket and now we are recommending it for Stefan Thompson because he's now part of our sale and you see we are recommending men clothing depending on his sales purchases history and if I do recommend for the item then I'm looking at the active item line in the journal which is the bag Linda remember and then we are recommending different set of items and now I'm going to finish this sale it is easy to change the setup in the web post just as you know from the Windows post so if I go in here to men and you see we are having here two columns four rows eight buttons in total I'm going to change it so we're going to have this time we're going to have three columns just a little change we're doing and close and it changes automatically it can also be very easy to change the color for a button so if I go to woman again and I want to change this color here and I would like to have it maybe similar to the white buttons here that is the blue color I am on the jeans button I right click and I have the authority to do this because I'm a super user in the system I go to button properties and I'm gonna find the skin this is a uh, like white this is behaving like white because I wanted to have the same color and close no this was the font sorry I was going to take the skin I was in the wrong line but we fix it here here it is white and close and then you see okay it was supposed to be blue <laughs> something demo syndrome here let's continue next thing I want to do I want to change the panel and uh, take a notice of this column here how white it is I want to change the width for this column now it's blue the button turned out blue and let's go into panel properties and this is what I wanted to show you so here we have remember this column here I'm going to change and uh, it was 10% I'm going to put it up to 20% and instead for the last column column number 6 I'm going to change it down to 10% and see what happens when I press the close button this column is now white so this is what you can do in the web post as you know from the Windows post. It is also possible to open design mode and again remember because I am a super user I have allowance to do that and now you see the design mode. What is new here is that every control now has a red frame to help you to see the sizes of the controls and when you take your mouse over them you will see information this is the current input here we have the journal and etc and you even can see the tag names here in, in those uh, areas which are displaying tags. If I am here in the journal I can right click and go to control properties and then you have access to change whatever the task you want to do for the journal grid. And you exit the, say, the design mode by right clicking and exit design mode. So back in the pause. Now I want to show you I'm in the I'm now using the web post not in full screen so you see I am in the browser here now what I want to show you I want to open the simulator which follows uh, with the Chrome this is part of Chrome the simulator and now you can see my pause as it looks like a Nexus 5x phone you can change the look and select iPhone or even we can select the iPad or even something which I have defined myself in size 900 times 700 pixels and have a look you see that the buttons are maybe some of them little too many letters or too big letters here what I can do 
I have prepared something. I'm going to lock off this host now. I'm not going to log in again as user number six because user number six has a different style profile on him. It's the same color and same look apart from that the font size is smaller. So I have created a new post style, post style profile with a smaller font. So now you can view how it looks would look in this size of a screen. So we, the LSNAV pause is currently designed for 7-inch tablets and bigger. And we believe that the phones need to have a responsive solution, meaning that the app needs to behave in a different way than the phone. Now I want to close this and go back to my LSTART program and show you Here we have LS Start, and I was using it full screen and not full screen. And if I edit this button for you to show you, this is how we, you can see I was using it with Chrome, and the full screen has these parameters to force it to work uh, as a kiosk and in full screen mode when it started. So this is what I wanted to show you with the web post, different features and functionality.